Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your April 2020 tarot card reading. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Aries season. I hope you guys are feeling it. I really do. I know the sun is building up to Chiron right now. So if you're still feeling a little droopy, like, ugh, you know, that's Chiron. Don't worry. I'll be over in the next few days. Um, but ultimately, I hope you're not. I hope you're feeling rambunctious and feeling, you know, like you want to get yourself into some new things and to get your hands dirty on some new projects. You know, I know there's so much stuff going on in the world right now, but for these readings, I really just want to keep them about you and the things that you can do to stay empowered right now. So I don't want to get it at all like big and political and all that. So let's just really focus and really hone in on you as a Virgo individual. Okay, now let's get into these cards. So the first card is actually your card, Virgo. It's actually the Knight of Pentacles. And this is you in the tarot. Um, in the minor arcana in the court cards. So this is the mutable earth quality and we know how adaptable and how amenable Virgo can be. You know, like whatever the circumstances are, you have the ability to just like, okay, well, what needs to be done in order to adapt to this new circumstance? I have a feeling your productivity is starting to come online. After all that Pisces opposition stuff, I know I keep talking about it and I keep harping on it. That's just because Pisces season really kicks my butt because I've got three planets in Virgo and it's just like really daunting for me. Maybe not for you so much, hopefully not. Um, but we are coming out of Pisces season. We're coming out of that like house of our own undoing or the sign of our undoing. We're coming out of that dream state and really starting to say, okay, now is a new year. What can I accomplish this year between Aries season 2020 and Aries season 2021, all right? We have a whole year in front of us and we have this vision. I know you do. I know you kind of know at least approximately what you're working for. And the Knight of Coins says, all right, let's get down to step one. Let's do it. And maybe this sort of social distancing thing is actually going to be really good for you. Maybe it is going to keep you indoors so you can kind of, you know, get rid of all of those obligations, get rid of all of the distractions so you can actually focus on that thing that you've been wanting for a really long time. Now, the environment is coming out as the magician card. And, you know, Aries season, as much as we love to give the magic to Scorpio and Pisces, um, and maybe even Capricorn a little bit. There is so much magic in Aries season. I mean, this truly is the time to plant seeds. So if you are, you know, feeling like you maybe kind of don't know where to start, you can start sending out the bat signal, if you will, right? Send out the bat signal, let the universe know, hey, I need some guidance. Hey, I need some indication of where to go. And you're gonna start, synchronous start seeing synchronicities popping up like crazy. So, you know, you will get the little magic numbers or there will be a question like for me as a personal sort of anecdote, if you don't mind, um, I was considering taking this course and I was like, no, it's kind of expensive. You know, maybe I'll just wait and do it later on in the year, you know, after tax season and all that. And, um, and then the minute I thought that in my mind, there was this video that popped up that said, no, you really should sign up for those course. If you've been putting it on the back burner for a while, just do it. I was like, oh, that's so weird how I was just thinking I was going to wait. And then I get this little video thing that comes up and says, just do it. Something completely unrelated, you know? So those kinds of synchronicities are exactly what the magician power can really bring about. Keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, keep your ear to the ground, really. And just allow yourself to begin the growth process, allow the blossoming to at least get started. Okay, now think about what you want. And if you don't have a clear idea, you can ask for a clear idea. You can ask for clarity, right? Like, why not? If you can ask for everything else, why can't you at least ask for clarity? So I love what's coming out in the nine card block for you. So I had a lot of people comment past couple months hey Jane we really want to be able to see the cards can you please like let us you know see the cards while you're talking about them so I'm going to put a little picture over here okay so you all can see the nine cards so you can see how they're all situated in relation to one another um, hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit 
So the first card in the nine card block is the queen of coins. Again, another very Virgo-like energy. But this is kind of mixing in a little bit of the Capricorn energy too, because this is technically a card of Capricorn. So we have the cardinal quality bringing out the cardinal Aries energy, okay? And we have the mutable energy of the knight of coins. So I suspect there is a mixture going on of finishing out old stuff closing everything out, getting the accounts taken care of, doing all the balancing, whatever, and the beginning of the new goals. So it's very much a handover, which I think Pisces was a lot about as well, Pisces season or March. And now you're really starting to feel the cardinal aspect of the season coming to fruition. So this is the beginning stuff, right? Mutable is always about closing things out and turning things over. And cardinal is about new beginnings. So perfect time for that. And I know that there are little menial tasks that need to be done in order to really get things started, like signing up for something or just paying a little bit of money or just sitting down and opening the book, right? Or just sitting down and turning on your computer. Those kinds of little things are initiators. And because we have the magician, those initiating energies and those initiating actions are really important and will get the ball rolling. Okay, so I think there can be a lot of gratitude for this social distancing that's really going on because it's gonna force you to say, okay, I don't really have a lot of excuses right now. You know, I really don't, especially if you're single and don't live with anyone. You know, I know if you have a family and kids and stuff at home all the time, it can be, you know, tough, but you don't gotta drive anywhere. You don't really gotta go do anything. You don't really have to do X, Y, or Z, you know? So while you're here, you might as well like get it going you know what I mean why not and the queen of coins is like all about it and the minute you start things is the minute things happen it's gonna be real fast airy season is fast right fire and air air times of year right airy season leo sagittarius aquarius libra gemini these are times when things happen like you put a thing out there and whoop, it just comes back because these are low density times okay fire and air they're not nearly as dense or as heavy as water and earth, right? I mean, like when we're in Capricorn season, things can feel like, you know, we now we have Mars coming into Aquarius. We're going to have um, a, a fiery sun and air, you know, like it was just everything is lightening up, which means everything is getting faster. So when you start the initiating actions, things happen and they happen freaking fast. Eight of Wands. Like, why would you miss, why would you want to miss out on this opportunity? Why would you want to miss out on the progress that could happen? I don't think you do. That's not really Virgo's thing. Virgo doesn't like to miss out on stuff when it comes to their own goals and to their own things. You know, I think Virgo has a very competitive streak with themselves you know like they don't really care about other people like who cares but when it comes to them doing things for themselves learning more knowing more accomplishing more they push hard and this is a perfect time for you to be really in your zone you know aries for virgo is like eighth house stuff so this is a powerful mars ruled house and a mars ruled sign so that mars energy is coming out real hot and heavy and saying let's go you know, and I know you're going to be a little stir crazy if you are trying to stay indoors, hopefully, um, if you are trying to do that. So the stir crazy energy really can be dedicated to really cool things. So as we come down to the second row, we have the emperor. Now, this could be someone else. For some reason, I am feeling that you are in the more feminine place right now, in the more receptive you know, sort of mode, but some of you could be tapping into this emperor energy yourself as well. So it just really depends on which end of the spectrum you're on. Um, the emperor is a powerful force. He is dedicated. He is loyal and all of this. So some of you may have an emperor in your life who is just being really kick-ass and really supportive right now. Um, I don't know that he's necessarily a major player in the story. He may have some say or may have some role but ultimately I think this month is really all about you as it should be because it is airy season after all right I mean it is it's airy season so it is all about us everybody everyone is on their own track everyone is really tapping into them for them 
and couples and relationships right now, you know, they're going to take a little bit of a, a turn and the energy is going to shift a little bit. And two people who are really supportive of each other, hopefully this person being very supportive of you. And I think in many ways, you being very supportive of them, but it's still like you're doing your own thing. You're each doing your own projects. You're each working on your own thing. And in the very center of the reading, there is three of cups. Now, I'm going to switch the gears of this story just a little bit for those of you, probably a very small demographic, so it won't apply to everybody, but those of you who are dealing with third party situations, okay, those of you who have like been cheated on or had some kind of a betrayal lately and things are really confusing, the only reason I'm bringing up this is because the way to really work through this at this time is to focus on yourself and to focus on the things that you are hoping to achieve for yourself. I would honestly leave that threesome completely in the past. I would leave everybody behind. I absolutely would not spend one second wondering if you should give someone a second chance. I don't think that this is the time for that, okay? Because when the Ace of Coins comes out, when the Eight of Wands comes out, there is a lot that can happen in a very short period of time and wallowing or feeling weakened by a situation that you don't have control over is really not the best vibe for you. It's just not the best color, right? Let's just change our outfits. It's just not working, okay? So that kind of thing. Just putting it out there because we got the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords and there are technically, you know, Queen of Coins, Emperor, and the Empress coming out. So I just had to say it. But for those of you who are not in a third party situation and everything is good, this is a time to really start celebrating the small things, the small achievements. Like, oh, you got that email back from that client? Awesome. Let's celebrate. Like, let's have a drink. Let's enjoy our time. You know, let's let's celebrate the very minuscule accomplishments that are likely to occur this month. And I know we can't really go out so much. I know we can't you know, hopefully by April, you know, things will be, you know, getting back to normal. But I think some people will be still like, maybe it's really best not to. And so I think it might have a slow emergence throughout April. And, um, you know, this might not necessarily be possible. And uh, so doing things at home, celebrating the small things at home. Boom, there you go. Now, the strength card reverse that's coming out, to me, it signifies... Oops, hold on, I can't pick it up here. To me, it signifies kind of um, a feeling of weakness. And I don't quite know exactly why you would be feeling weak right now, given the story of everything else. The Three of Swords might have something to do with it. You know, you might be feeling very out of control. Hopefully the things in the world are not impacting you on an individual level, but we also know that Virgo is, you know, one of the natural healers of the Zodiac, right? Virgo and Pisces, um, natural healers, the people who do like to kind of swoop in and help other people and to really be there. And this is an, an, a thing that might, you know, like maybe you can't really be there in the way that you really want to be. That can be really hard. Um, especially for someone who is so prone to like throwing themselves in front of the train for someone else, you know? And um, there might be a, a more anxious vibe. There might be a little bit of a worry wart kind of thing coming out in Virgo's vibe, you know? And I think it's a good thing for you to be out of your power for a minute, to redirect your power into things that are actually within your control. You know what I mean? Um... <sighs> It's not for you to worry about. And this is a good test for you to really learn how to step away, to learn how to get your hands out of the pot, to learn how to disassociate yourself from things and just only do what really matters for you in your life right now. That could be hard for some of you. There could just be some like weight on your shoulders that is kind of unprecedented and maybe you don't quite know where it's coming from. And it could be coming from the, the Virgo archetype's natural desire to be healthy and to, you know, bring health into the world. That's really what you represent. So if you're feeling something and you don't know why, it's probably a global consciousness kind of deal. So it's, again, maybe not worth worrying about so much. 
There might be other things in your life that are very much out of your control, aside from, you know, the social distancing and all of that. And that is okay too. Now is not a time to focus on the things that are not in your control. Now is the time to focus on the things that are. I mean, that's maybe a lesson that we just kind of need to learn for, you know, a life lesson, maybe, you know, just a little bit of a life lesson and to learn how to let go because that will, that's a lesson that will serve us anytime, no matter what's going on. Anytime it's good for us to let, let go of things that aren't in our control. Very bottom row, the three of swords. So another one of the reasons why I talked about the third party thing. Because there could be some revelations. Pisces season uh, still, you know, we got Mercury still going through there. So it's not entirely over yet. So there might still be some weird things that kind of surface. And there might be some information that comes to light. And there could be a little bit of a disappointment because your ruling planet, that's why Mercury is important. It's your ruling planet in the house of its opposition, which it doesn't like to be. It's in the house of your relationships. And it's, um, you know, it's, uh, there's could be revelations, you know, there could be some things that come out, there could be some truth, some, or you discover that there were some secrets, and you're probably not going to be too, too happy about that. Um, again, out of your control. The only thing you can control is your response to this. Now, there's a very healing aspect to this Three of Swords as well. You can kind of see, you know, the way the rain clouds and the rain behind the Three of Heart or the Three of Swords, you know, behind the heart comes in with a very cleansing quality. So maybe Aries season is going to be more cleansing than anything else. Cleansing to help you make room for the things that you are planting seeds for. You're, you're weeding right now, or you're tilling the soil. You're in preparation mode, right? Because now Pisces season is over. We have sun, spring officially beginning, winter is done. So anything that's, that's left, you know, you got to rake it up, you got to clean it up, you got to pick it up and throw it out. Bottom center, the Empress. Now for you guys, also with the, the heavy earth and energy of Knight of Coins, Queen of Coins, we officially have all the earth signs being represented here. We have Capricorn, we have Taurus, and we have Virgo. And for an earth sign reading, this is really empowering. It's really encouraging because you're going to be in your element, even though it's all air and fire right now. You're going to be doing your very earthy things. And you are going to be focused on goals and ambitions that are of the world. So financial goals, especially because Aries season is in the eighth house. There's a lot of, you know, shared resources coming to play. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, sexual drive as well, which is a very earthy and very body kind of thing. There's a lot of creation and actually putting things into form, right? Getting things out of the thought forms, getting thing out of the emotional forms and bringing it into the world in a physical kind of way. So there is a lot of manifestation on the table for you here. And I think your creative energy is pretty high, you know, like it's, it's rushing through you. It's something that's really undeniable. And it's probably because something is balancing out. Maybe you have been more in the inner world lately. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Maybe you have been a little bit, you know, thinking about things more than acting. You've been feeling about things more than acting. And now is the time to begin acting, to begin creating. So, you know, it's a great time for you to focus on you. Don't know how else to put it. Don't know how else to say it. Things are starting to even out. You have to understand that because of the air and fire in the sky right now, things come back quickly. Like I said in the beginning, it's, it's very low density. So there's less friction. So when you send out intentions, there's less friction in the air. There's less friction with manifestation. So when you're thinking about things, when you're feeling about things, make sure it is positive. Make sure that it is worthwhile. Make sure that it is productive. If you are someone who is wallowing in fear or wallowing in sadness and like hanging on to how much control you don't have, you know, that stuff is going to come back to you. And because it's seed planting time, there will be harvest season later on. All right, so this is going to be a big deal to pay attention to how you're thinking, how you're feeling, how you're acting, because the karmic component, 
that what goes around comes around component is pretty strong. And justice, you know, he's the kind of the governor of the laws of the universe. So that's what he does. That's his whole vibe. And he's going to make sure it comes back around. So, you know, like for those of you who are in a third party thing, honestly, let karma take care of it. Let karma do the justice. Let's, let karma, you know, come back around because it will... And you will be vindicated in some way. Not that that's what you're seeking, but you'll, you know, if you let go and you surrender and you try not to control anything, um, you'll see the repercussions. You know, you will. So, so yeah. All right. Those are the nine cards. Let's get into the oracles. I pulled out two oracle cards, and the first one is so pretty. A door to personal healing and happiness. You know, Leo also had a, like a door opening as well. And Leo is especially relevant to you because it's like your 12th house energy. And there is a blossoming happening here, guys. You know, you are healing. You are making your way more toward happiness because you are starting to let go of things. You are starting to flow a little bit better. I think we've all had a lot of lessons in like how to flow how to surrender, how to not try to control things. And because we are able to do that and we're able to focus more on ourselves, we begin to find that happiness within ourselves. We aren't looking externally. I don't think Virgo's looking externally at all. They're not trying to use another person's opinion of us to validate us. You know, I just, I don't think that's where Virgo's at. It's too, it's too far gone for that. So you are opening this door. And there are really amazing things that can happen during a period of time, 8th house Aries, which is dedicated toward transformation, okay? If some of you do have some issues arise in terms of spousal finances, you know, maybe your spouse had to get laid off or something, or maybe your, your partner took a little bit of a hit in terms of working with clients or something like that, you know, it will work out. I think Virgo will absolutely rise to the occasion and will you know, will step it up and be able to compensate for any loss. I don't see any loss for Virgo here at all, but that's because you're putting your faith in yourself. Okay. Self-reliance for sure. Even though Scorpio is not necessarily about self-reliance, I think it's important to have self-reliance during this time. Okay. Boom. There it is. All right. Let's go ahead and put this camera down. We will talk about the comprehensive cards. So you can see what the deeper reading is going to bring out. And that's it. We'll see you in just a sec. Okay, Virgo. So I'm doing something just a little different than what I normally do. With these cards, I'm going to clarify them with the same deck so we can get some more information about these. So with the King of, excuse me, with the Knight of Coins, your energy, what additional information do we need to know? Four of Wands. That's the home energy, yeah. Being at home, six of wands, we'll do one more. And nine of wands, a lot of wand energy, a lot of fire. Okay, magician. Eight of coins. Three of swords, ooh, double three of swords. Your pain and loss is actually a very important player here and five of cups because it's the motivation to manifest the new thing. So for those of you who are totally new to my channel, by the way, um, these are cards that I'll cover in the comprehensive. If you want to join me, you're more than welcome. The link in the, will be in the description box down below. Okay. Okay, so Queen of Coins. Clarifying the Queen of Coins, Three of Wands. Ten of Swords. Ace of Cups. Let's look at the Ace of Coins. 
Okay, another Eight of Wands. Things coming in quickly. Ooh, another Strength Reverse card. Ooh, let's do one more. That's kind of an interesting energy to get. There seem to be some conditions with that Ace of Coins. We'll talk about it in the comprehensive. Okay, Eight of Wands. Let's see. Beautiful. You guys are really going to be asked to just follow your truth this month, right? To follow your truth. Oops, Six of Coins. Ten of Coins reversed. World reversed. You're going to be expected to have faith as well. Six of Swords reversed, Queen of Cups reversed. Ooh. What is going on with Virgo right now? Something. Lovers, Page of Coins. Seven of Coins. This story is going to get really involved. For those of you who, you know, don't know, we usually talk for about another 20 to 25 minutes about these cards. So. Another Empress, Chariot, Page of Swords. A lot of repeated cards. Your ability to stay grounded right now is super important. Four of coins reverse, three of coins. I think a lot of you are taking up some... Wow, I can't believe this. We don't normally have so many cards repeating. A lot of you are taking up new endeavors, and there might be an, a risk involved in that. A little bit of a financial hit, a little bit of a shake-up. And you might be scared to step out. Let's do one more for justice. Okay, beautiful. Excellent way to end the reading. Let's go ahead and stop it there. Again, if you want to join, the link will be in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much. I wish you nothing but the best. Have an excellent Aries season, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.